I have funded or earned it myself. I got really creative in the way that I won two government contracts to bootstrap this company that weren't related to my business and used that money for funding. I left my hometown in 2003, and hometown is Dry Ridge, Kentucky, and I joined the United States Army. Uh, my first duty station was South Korea, and I did all of my service as an information technology specialist. I was in the military for approximately six years of active duty. I also spent time in the Tennessee National Guard and the Kentucky National Guard. Once I went to the conference, which was in DC, I was sitting in a room, and someone on the stage who was a keynote started lamenting about how there wasn't a retention or training program for the military community. Remote work wasn't really an option and there wasn't a tool to help recruiters find and retain military talent. So with the technical background that I had, I decided I was gonna go out and solve that problem. I went out, I bootstrapped the company, and within 80 days of launching my business, or really like 300 days, it was about a year to be honest, um, my family structure changed. I got divorced, I had zero customers, I put myself in debt and felt like a mortal failure. And I just didn't feel like I had a purpose anymore, and so I went to one of my mentors and said, hey, I really, I love technology, I don't love the direction that I'm in. I can't get out of bed. I'm super depressed. And they said, what do you really care about? And I said, helping my community and serving my community. And they said, so go do it. And I'm like, but I failed before. And they said, it doesn't matter. Do it. So on Monday, I pulled out my old business plan. I dusted it off. The following Tuesday, I made a phone call. Wednesday, I landed my first contract in June of last year and never looked back. The biggest hurdle for me in starting my business was self-doubt. You know, who am I to say that I'm an expert in anything and lead people to a retention program when there's so many out there to choose from? And I realized that my personal experiences and my experience as a military spouse and as a veteran is different from anybody else and I'm extremely passionate about what I do and that kind of makes all the difference. One of my mentors that I have asked me to apply for Warrior Rising's program and I did about 12 weeks ago and I did a lot of the coursework and have really appreciated it and then I got selected to come here. I also mentor there when asked and try to provide as many resources as I can. They have a great support system there. They seem really involved and invested, and I don't know of another nonprofit that goes out of their way to throw a business shower for their incoming entrepreneurs. It is insane that they do that, and it's such a helpful tool. You know, once you're here, you're part of the family. You get support every step of the way. I know Sarah, Jason, Alyssa, Ken, they've all been there for me every time that I'm like, hey, I really need this, or hey, I'm really confused, or hey, where do I go for? hey, I want to quit. They'll be like, don't quit. You can do it. They're just a great sense of support. The, the opportunity for the business shower is just a bonus. It's like family.